This area that we're in now is the sensory garden for the school and it's mainly for um, profound and multiple learning disabilities. So the school had two artists and the Arts Council and a group called the Lady Taverners made um, a really nice contribution and helped us get the Tree of Life. So we did some CAD CAM stuff on, for the tree. Most, most, all the colours of the branches are linked to every team in the school. Um, so all of them have taken part in it and in the weaving as well. But around this corner, we can see that all these leaves that are made of perspex, acrylic, they were all used with CAPCAM with Year 9 and they've done what we did in the lesson earlier using the sticky machine, put their names on or the tree of life and they really enjoy doing that and shaping them. So then in a few months time all the leaves will change again and the whole school will be involved in making new leaves or new shapes for the tree and it's just going to be an evolving project really. Many of those of us working in design and technology felt there was a need to integrate the HLTA standards with design technology specific training. Uh, we looked at what the opportunities out there were and then explored with Sheila Guys from Best Practice the outcome of that being the 10 day design and technology specific HLTA programme that we embarked on just over a year ago. Today, trainee HLTA Kath Pugh is working with learners in a Year 8 class at St. Hugh's Communication and Interaction Specialist College in Scunthorpe. We put it down low in our vise so, so it doesn't wobble about. And when we're soaring, Michael, put your hand up and tell everybody that's spot on. We... To keep it straight. We keep it straight so we don't twist this way. The way we follow the line is... We go that way. Does this is say off? Oh, if if you went that that way, it could go more down. Then. It'll get stiffer. Stuck. Kath is part of a pilot scheme that a number of schools in North Lincolnshire took part in. In conjunction with funding from the local authority, Best Practice Network provided training for all the HLTAs taking part in the scheme, with particular focus on design and technology. They're making a dust tidy made out of wood. The, the acrylic, the shaping, so that's going to be going at the back of the dust tidy, and they'll have their name on it, which is what we're going to use with the sticker machine. So they're just shaping it for now to go on the back. On them. Okay, just go forwards and backwards. Really gently, Luke, okay? Yeah. Kath has worked as a TA in, in this school for a number of years. The programme has provided an ideal opportunity for Kath to gain the recognition of uh, the high levels of TA support she provides and will we'll do so as an HLTA. But it also provided an opportunity for her to gain training relevant to the developing needs of the schools. We're going to follow that curve round, Luke, OK? So try and keep it straight. She has developed the ability to provide a high level of technical support for CAD-CAM activities appropriate to the needs of the learners in this school, and that is having a quite quick impact on the levels of, uh, of learner achievement in the school. Back down again. We need to go to file and the yellow box so it's open. The yellow one, Jack, open, yep. Okay, we're going to set it up, Jack, so we need to set it to go to this printer, okay? We're going to draw in and lay out. Are you having fluffy on yours or your name? <laughs> fluffy. Right, that's got your name, that says fluffy, that's what you want, isn't it? So Financial support for the programme was made available from the local authority's HLTA grant from the TDA. In the middle, and it's like moving a picture. It's working, can you see? This cutter puts, your, puts that name out. Can you see your name there? Yeah, and then that'll go on here. Just fits, can you see, where your Y is and the F? But what kind of impact did the HLTA pilot programme have on the students? It increased the quality of the work that the children were providing. So learners with specific difficulties are able to produce a high quality product. 
on the table, please. Thank you. Source files. It's the final part of the lesson and time to clear away the equipment. I think it went really well. They all um, did the shapes. They all uh, tried really hard using a coping saw or a hacksaw to get the shape that they needed. Some were curved, some were straight. And they all did really well. Kath decides to showcase Jack's work to the class. Mr Fowler, would you like Jack to show what oh, he's done nice on the sticker machine? We're watching then. I'm going to show everybody what yours looks. We can't really see that there, can we? No. Jack's written his words, what he wants to write on his acrylic. OK. And we put this special tape on top of it. That's called adhesive tape. OK. You peel that off. And that gets left mm -hmm. on your acrylic plastic. OK. Mm -hmm. The rest of the words are still there. It's going to look really good, isn't it? Yeah.